What is up guys, Shushi Game here, back with another gaming video. This time I'm going to be explaining the ELO system in Counter-Strike Global Offensive and how to use this to maybe gain ELO in the system, get your rank up, you know, all that. Anyway, the system is very similar to the League of Legends system, so if you've ever played that game and played the rank system there, you'll know what I'm talking about. It used the ELO rating system, an old system that used to be used for chess and still is. It's basically a system that uses maths to work out what skill you should be in. It takes the performance rating of each team in mind and then determines what your chances of winning should be. How the system works is it takes the overall rating of each team and determines your chances of winning. So let's say for example there are two teams. The one team is full of noobs, the other is full of global elites. I know this is an unrealistic situation but just hear me out. Pretend the noobs win, they gain a huge amount of elo from this and some of them would probably even rank up. But what if the global elites win? Well, then they gain ELO, but they do not gain such a high amount, because the chances were in their favor. They should have won that game. But how does this system work? Overall, the system does seem to take other aspects into consideration besides just your win-loss ratio and the wins in-game you get. A lot of theories state that it takes rounds into consideration. It depends on how many rounds you win, and this seems to be true for the most part. Also, I've seen that players think it takes skill into consideration, so your total points in the match do matter. However, this seems to be marginal overall. However, this has been confirmed multiple times because people who lose games still sometimes get promoted. However, some people think this rating system just delayed and gave them a promotion in the next match. I don't know this part for sure, but if it would influence whether you gain ELO or not, I think it would be very marginal, between 0 and 10% maybe. If you just start out Counter-Strike Competitive, you'll see that when you're playing, you'll gain wins. Each time you gain a win, you're closer to being ranked. You need to win 10 times to get your rank in. How this works is that after you win 10 games, it puts you in a bracket. If, say, you lose 10 out of 20 of those games, you'll probably place somewhere in the middle. Maybe 1 star rating, 2 stars maybe, Nova Master 1, maybe Nova Master 2. But now you're asking, what really is the best way to gain ELO in the CSGO system? And I'm going to tell you, I think it's just you should try hardest to win every game and try and win the most rounds you can. If you want to quickly advance, you need to try and gain as many points as you can in the smallest amount of time. So that means you want to play a match and you want to try and make it as quick as possible. And you also want to win as many rounds as possible because that also seems to matter when you're trying to climb the ladder. Your score, as said previously, might matter, but it's marginal. You should really be trying to focus mainly on winning the match and winning as many rounds as possible. If you are serious about advancing, you shouldn't really troll around, you should try and finish the game as quickly as possible. But you might be asking, how do I know when I'm going to rank up? And I'm going to tell you, it seems to work on streaks, just like the League of Legends system again. If you win, say, 4 to 5 games in a row, you're almost definitely going to rank up. Even 3 to 4 can do it if you're already at the top. But is the system good? Is the system bad? Does it work? Well, to be honest, there's a lot of different opinions on that. A lot of people are really satisfied with the system, but a lot of them don't like some aspects. Particularly not being able to see your actual ELO rating, which is usually quite important. Your actual ELO rating will be a number that determines how good you are. Instead, in this system, in the Counter-Strike system, there's just a rank, like Gold Nova or Global Elite. But overall, each opinion differs. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. Hopefully you've learned something and now know how to use the ELO system to your advantage. Thanks guys, that's all for now. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I'll be releasing more CSGO content soon.